G'day guys, welcome to another video. I'm just doing a uh, <coughs> little unboxing video today of a couple of goodies. <coughs> and I've got my uh, new yet to be used bushcraft knife. <coughs> um, what is it by the way? More, more racking here, pretty much the <coughs> the cheapest one you buy. Sorry, I've got to apologise about this cold. I just can't get rid of it. Every video, I'm sorry. <coughs> but um, I, I just still want to do something, you know, so I apologise for that. <coughs> but if you're curious about this knife, it's in the, there's an affiliate link below to Amazon. I think they're about 45 bucks AU. Pretty much the cheapest, but <coughs> once again, the reviews were pretty good on it, so. Anyway, let's get into this. <coughs> it's uh, from Amazon. Um, a lot of you that are watching this could probably guess that. Now, you probably, if you're watching this, you probably already know what's going to be in here. <coughs> here we go, here's the bit of plastic. Tough times don't excuse tougher times at home. <coughs> yeah, right on. <coughs> now, this is a portable uh, power bank, solar powered. <coughs> so, I've got a bit of a thing for batteries and stuff. A bit, I get a bit OCD when it comes to batteries and power and solar and all that stuff. <coughs> so anyway, to cut it short, I bought a, I'll do a review with the two of them down the track, but this, uh, I bought a cheap one on eBay, and it was absolute garbage. <coughs> the solar panel does nothing, and the capacity of the battery itself is probably lucky to be a quarter of what they say it is. But anyway, <coughs> this one here <coughs> is uh, about, I think it's 20, I think it's around 26, 27 milliamp, 25,000 milliamp hours. <coughs> and it's reasonably priced. There's a lot of expensive stuff on there. I always like the smell of newness. <coughs> so anyway, this one was, uh, I won't do a, a review, but we're just opening it up and just having a quick look, unboxing. <coughs> but this has some pretty good um, reviews. And like I say, 40, I think it was 46, 47 dollars AU delivered. And already, compared to the other one, it, it seems heavier, a bit bigger and uh, <coughs> You know, just better made. The reviews for this were pretty good. Um, you know, so apparently, apparently it will charge in the uh, in the sun. So <coughs> anyway, that is that. <coughs> it's there's no real brand to it, but I will put a link to it in the uh, in the description. Yeah, I can do that. I'll put an affiliate link down below. So if you want to have a look at one, feel free. And um, yeah, just got some cardboard there, <coughs> little carry pack, um, USB cable, <coughs> charging, and uh, yeah, just a little uh, <coughs> clip if you want to put it on your belt or something, and some basic instructions. That is that. I'm really looking forward to. Uh, draining this and uh, sticking it outside and uh, seeing how it goes. <coughs> Sorry, I just checked in my coffee pot. I could hear it. I thought, oh, doesn't matter. <coughs> yeah, so anyway, <coughs> really looking forward to that. Um, some people were saying that they just leave them on their, out on their dashboard or something and, and it charges, no worries. So, if that's the case for 45 bucks, and they reckon you can charge a, a phone up four times or something with it. <coughs> so it's, if it does what it says it's going to do, then it's a lot better than the rubbish that I got off eBay. 
I can't believe that eBay allows it to sell it, to be honest with you. It's just, <coughs> it's just false advertising. Oh, hang on a second. <coughs> Jesus, that's small. Now, <clears throat> what this is, guys, I've got you sitting on a gimbal at the moment, <clears throat> which you would have heard me talk about, which seems to work pretty well. <clears throat> I mean, the phone <clears throat> is what it is, but um, it'll do for now. I just, you know, I, I don't want to spend too much money on a lot of gear that I don't have, and... <clears throat> but like I say, if, if things work out for the channel down the track, I'll buy some better gear. But anyway, this thing is uh, a, uh, an adapter for the gimbal for an action cam. <clears throat> so, it's actually heavier than what I thought. It's actually got quite a bit of weight to it. So that's all it is. <clears throat> Your little action cam basically uh, sits in there. And then you put this part, the gimbal sort of attaches around it like that. So you should be able to use the gimbal <coughs> with the uh, with the action cam. You've got a little bracket there. Actually, just thinking about it, um, <coughs> having, you probably need the weight in it to make the gimbal work now that I think about it because uh, it's all a balancing act with the gimbal. So you probably do need a little bit of weight and that's actually <coughs> metal of some sort you know so um, yeah, yeah I probably won't do a, a, a review on this it'd be too boring for you <coughs> but what I might do for this video is uh, I might even put it in right now if I've got the technology and can work it out I'll put a picture of the gimbal in there so you can see it okay if it works that is um, and I'll also tell you I'll put something there that says if it doesn't work so there <coughs> but anyway that is it well there we go guys uh, sorry for the abrupt ending I did do a bit of a uh, show and tell on the the uh, Coleman Big Sky um, camping bed, but um, I can't believe I did it. I mean, I I must rush sometimes and not think. But I was only filming up to here, so I just deleted it. But I will do a video on that in the near future. Looks like a pretty good bed. Um, the, uh, yeah, I'll put some links, where am I, I'll put some links down below, and, um, yeah, you can have a look at, um, yeah, there's the knife at the start, the, uh, the power bank, and, um, well, I'm doing this after the fact now, but you'll see, you, if you've made it this far, you would have seen the text that I had to send back the gimbal adapter, that was useless, it wouldn't mount and um, anyway, early signs, just a quick update. I really wasn't going to do this, but I'm, I'm charging that solar bank as we speak, just with the USB cable. And the connection, when you put it in, with the, with the cable they supplied is, I don't know, it, it's not a good connection. You know, you sort of got to jiggle it around and get it in there. So that's... That's a bit frustrating straight up that I don't like that. But anyway, you've got 30 days that you can return it apparently. So if it doesn't live up to expectations, I'll send it back. Yeah, well, there you go. That's about it. Um, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully uh, those little things will, uh, will help with uh, camping and all that sort of stuff. So uh, not the gimbal adapter, obviously, but we'll see how the... Uh, solar panel power bank goes anyway thank you very much for watching appreciate it see you soon cheers